Hi everybody. I bought you, brought you out to the woods today to talk about one of my favorite subjects and that's invasive species. I walk around in the woods a lot and I hike and I just love being outside even in the winter and nothing irritates me more than when I come upon an area covered in an invasive species. It just it just blows my mind that anybody would plant these particular plants. Now mind you, these plants are sold in nurseries and big box stores as ground covers, annuals, accent plants. They have all kinds of names. What they really are, are they're weeds. They are weeds. They're, there's nothing else to call them by. They're no better than having garlic mustard grown in your yard. At least I can eat garlic mustard. Um, I just wanted to show you this area that's been that's been taken over by one of the one of the ones that sells throughout the U.S. and that's Vinca Minor, or another name for it is Periwinkle. People buy this plant like crazy, Ooh, and they, it just it. It just takes over the woodland, takes over the forest floor, and it pushes out native species that, you know, should be growing here. There won't be hardly any, um, let's say, ephemerals growing here, probably, because this is covered with Vinca Minor. Let me show you. See, this is, you can see all this green. Walk down here. This is all Vinca Minor. Oh yeah, look at that. It's a weed. And why people plant this, I have no idea. It's really not that attractive at all. I've seen better looking ground covers. Um, and if you notice, you're probably like, if it's a wood, well, the deer. Well, no, the deer and the rabbits won't even touch it. Um, they don't They don't eat it. I think they'd have to be starving to death. They'll eat these trees and shrubs like this This guy here. They'll, eat, they'll go by and nibble on that before they eat this vinca. And look, it's all the way over here. Oh, it's trying to cross the one of these cricks. Um... Now, there, if I, you know, if I could, I would pull it all out. Oh my gosh, you know how long that would take? Whew. <laughs> take a long time. Um, but just remember, the next time you go to pick a plant for your garden or your containers, please look up on invasive.org whether or not it's an invasive species specifically in your area um, they are divided up by state so just remember that invasive.org and remember that vinca minor or aka periwinkle is on that list thanks for stopping by